what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we are here with some more episodes of monster yes anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in man um i'm gonna be doing episodes seven and eight today i'm enjoying this series this crime drama brilliantly written so far as far as i can see i'm in for a ride because we still don't know what's going on behind the scene what's going on with johan man what's going on with him why is he just killing people is he just a serial killer or you know what i'm saying we need to know the motives behind what johan is doing um this is gonna be a crazy ride i can already see it um you know we can only hope that the parents are okay and dude from the the newspaper dude that smokes I don't remember his name <laughs> but hopefully they're okay man or they get back there in time before old boy take him out but it seems like Johan is has taken them out and got to where the girl is at already or something or they're safe and nothing happened but the phone line was cut so I don't know but in any case guys thank you guys so much for always showing love on the channel man I really do appreciate y'all just remember to hit that like button and leave a comment, all right? So let's jump into these episodes, and I will see you guys for the review. Tell ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
マブラージャンあなたの大好きなタバコだ。私が殺したのにです。通報を受けてまいりました。ちょっと失礼。中を見させていただきます。何ということだ。これはひどい。あなた方はご無事ですか。怪我は。Why well, are you so calm? あなた方には署で詳しい話を伺います。被害者の娘さんですか。大きな毒に。So she's the one that shot him in the head, huh? ということは犯人を見てはいないんですね。この平和な街であんなことが起きるなんて。あなたどこの国の方中国いえ日本人です天馬と申しますああ日本の方遠い異国で大変な目に遭われましたな落ち着いてもう大丈夫あの<笑> どこに向かっているんですか警察署ですよでもハイデルベルク署は町の中心のはず我々は隣のマンハイム署から来ましたなぜわざわざ隣の署まで連れて行くんだろうあと15分ほどで到着しますよあはいサンカーのサスペクト
あ、あの。あの。この子が気分が悪いというので、少し外の風に。あ、ああ、どうぞ。次から しかし、あの血は何だ。誰の通報で来たんだ。サイレンも鳴らさずに。どうすればいい。どうすればいい。I ain't never said yeah. I I yes. Mm -hmm. Now you know I'm a doctor, nigga. Mm -hmm. Yo. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> it's crazy. I made myself a little bit bigger. So, I'm guessing Johan is trying to save her for last. You know what I'm saying? Trying to destroy her life. とにかく着替えて体が冷え切ってる。たくさん人が死んでた。私とお兄ちゃんは。二人でそこを歩いた。世界に私とお兄ちゃん二人だけみたいだった。どこだいそこは思い出せないかい。国境を越えたわ。おじさんとおばさんが励ましてくれて、とっても優しくしてくれた。お兄ちゃんが言った
damn the cycle bro like y'all don't understand he ain't know though that's the thing like tenma didn't know that this dude is a serial killer freaking 11 what 11 years old or 10 years old this man got connections everywhere. <laughs> いいかいにな。ヨハンは君を連れ去ろうとしている。犯人の手がかりはないんですか。これまでドイツ各地で起こった中年夫婦殺人事件との関連は。ですから、全力を挙げて捜査しておりますが、まだ詳しいことは申し上げられません。我々の調べたとこだと、ポルトナ夫妻
freaking Tenma Thai, bro. Nina, I am Nina, Nina. Masaka. Nina. Nina. Doko da. You leaving too much evidence Nina! behind, man. Nina. Tsure sararete shimatta no ka. Hitori ni suru janakatta. Some sandwiches. あいつを殺すつもりなのか。私が彼を生き返らせてしまったんだ。私が。あのモンスターを。生き返らせてしまったんだ。get to the next episode man this show is so good bro like i don't even want to take a break like ドクターテンマあなたは悪くないあなたは医者としての仕事を全うしただけですあなたは悪くないサンドイッチを食べてくださいそして少し眠ってください あなたは生き延びてください。そして一人でも多くの人を助けてください。ニナ、フォルトナ。もう一度あいつを殺すつもりなのか。私があのモンスターを生き返らせてしまったんだ。私が生き返らせてしまったんだ。Just killing people with a smile on his face. <laughs> この脳動脈気系には何本も血管が入ってる。流入動脈は全て切離。流出静脈を処理。ないです。適切完了。うまくいったな。ああ、さすがだな。相変わらずの素早いクリッピング。<笑> いや、見事なオペだった。長期休暇の後の久々の嫉妬だったが、天才の腕は冴える一方だな。終わった。お。いや、何でもない。I don't think he wants to be a doctor anymore. <laughs>
Good old clout chase over here. <laughs>素晴らしいわ、ケンゾ。僕のニュースじゃなく君のパパのニュースだよ。父<笑> Clout chase over here, man. It's the real definition of a gold digger right here, bro. Oh, <laughs> すぐに退散しますよ。し、しかし、あと<笑> ルンゲ。ああ。いや、<笑> ちょっとお見せしたいものがありましてね。このネクタイなんですがね。ネクタイ。見覚えありませんか覚えてらっしゃらないかもしれない。9年前の品ですからね。シンプルな柄ですが、よく見ると折り柄が非常に凝っていて
今度来る時はお酒の一本も持ってらっしゃい。エヴァ君からお父さんに言ってくれないか僕は間違ったことはしていない僕はただ休館を運び込まれた順番通りにオペしただけなんだそれは婚約指輪じゃないかあなたって本当にバカね。エヴァ。Probably loved them too, but she was just so caught up in her own shit. Yeah, Hessa, Genki ni Narimasane. Kaoiro mo ishi. Kore nara konsu chu ni mo tain deki so desu yo. Arigato gozaimas, Doctor Temba. Laigets, Musume no kekon shiki nanda ga shusseki deki mas ka ne. Eh, daizo des. Demo enkai de hame o hazasana yoni, shake da sayo. Arigato, akira mete tanda ga. ドクター天満のおかげだヘッサンが頑張ったからですよあんたがずっとついていてくれたら娘どころか孫の結婚式まで拝めそうだあんた本当に名医だずっとこの病院にいてくださいよあのドクター天満お客様です今から改心をするんだ忙しいから断ってくれないかででもエヴァシーチャーに見つけたら4つの4つの4つの4つの4つの4つの4つの4つの4つの4つの4つの4つの4つの4つの4つの4つの4お父様エヴァエヴァつらいだろうが気持ちをしっかり離せお父様を返してお父様少しやつれたんじゃないいや長期休暇を取ってたそうねそうよたまにはこうやって体を休めなくちゃあなた仕事の虫だもの君も少し痩せたんじゃないかいろいろあったから噂で聞いてるでしょああ
春ね覚えてる10年前の春二人でよくドライブに行ったじゃない若かったわねこの時期にあなた川で泳ごうとしたのよ私慌てて止めて<笑>そしたらあなたったら悪いんだけどえエヴァ時間がないんだダン賢三やり直したいの3回の結婚の失敗で初めて分かったの私のこと本当に愛してくれたのは賢三あなただけだったわ This bitch Dude, this bitch is ridiculous Listen man let me tell you guys something Anytime this happen If this has ever happened to you in real life Because this has happened to me in real life Bruh walk the fuck away You don't want these kind of problems. Okay? Don't fall for it. Listen to what this woman is saying. And I'm telling you, they're depicting this on the money right now with what she's saying. This is the kind of stuff that they'll say. But they'll never, they will never say, oh, I, re I realize, oh, that you really love me. You're not coming here to confess your love. You're telling me about how I feel, how I felt about you. Um, bitch, I know I loved you. <laughs> I know I loved you. I don't need you to tell me <laughs> that you now realize that I really loved you. If you're here to talk about you wanting to change, I need to hear what you are trying to change. You get what I'm saying? Nah, bro. Walk away, man. If I've never told you guys anything, walk away from these situations when it comes on to women. They don't mean... It's not going to work out. It's not going to work. What This woman is too self-centered, man. Kenzo! Three marriages. None of them worked. Onegai, Kenzo! Nah, bruh. Kimi no kimochi wa ureshii kedo. Uke rare nai nda. Because you blew it. Sore ja. Matta, Kenzo! You blew it. Atashi da matta tan da kara. Kensatsu ga anata no nektai no koto kiite kita kedo. Oh, shit. So she did know she just didn't say anything. Anata, ano nektai de nani ka mazui koto demo aru njanai no? Ano nektai wa tashika ni atashi ga anata ni presento shita mono da wa. Now she's gonna try to guilt him. Atashi no yu tori ni sureba damatte ite ageru wa. See? Self-centeredness, man. Yara na kya ikenai koto ga aru nda. Man's just looking like I don't give a shit. Do whatever you will. Walk away, bro. Yep. Now nah, she mad. Now nah, she gonna want vengeance now. Mm-hmm. I know it. I know it. I've been there, man. So then I'll tell you all. I'll talk to you about the police. I'll tell you all. 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 You don't have no evidence of that, so I don't know what you're talking about. ことしかしこれではフォルトナー夫妻とマウラー殺しの証拠には不十分ではよくご協力くださいましたこれで一気にたくさんの事件が解決するかもしれません Ain't no fury like a woman scorned, man. Do you go to the doctor, Timma? Cut the Nakoto, it there, Mosha Karimasen, Incho. Kimmy, you are saying you don't know me on the Wasang Ario Dama. On the moon, what does your then then she need to know you? And you shouldn't want to come in, oh, Kimmy, Doctor Timma. Hey, what does it? え、ドクター天馬が殺人容疑。各病棟の入り口を下げ、裏口も忘れるな。
はいドクター・テンマはどこだし、知りませんそっちはどうしたさっさと探せいや、しかし、警部Blocking the way, bro. Doki, that's a common scobo guy. That's all. Doctor Temma, a stolo shinanka, Suruaki, and I soda. What does that do? You know, you'll take it to great a wound in you. Doctor Temma, Mujizu, that is a kind of なんだかえらい騒ぎですねパトカーが山ほど来てますよドクター天満そそうか何があったんだろうとにかく駅の前で降ろしてくれはい相変わらずお忙しいですねドクター天満僕は僕は向こうでオペが待ってます待てドクターテンマードクターテンマー大丈夫だ頑張れ僕は助けてやる僕は間違ってなんかいない僕の人格に問題があるだとあんたは何だ医者どころかただの金の亡者じゃないかあんなやつあんなやつ死んだ方がマシだ大変ですあの双子の兄弟がどこにもいないんです<笑>な何なんだ一体何が起きたんだお久しぶりですね先生僕ですよもう忘れちゃったからあの時の双子のことなんてヨハン僕はあの時死んでいたはずだったんだ先生が僕を生き返らせてくれたんだ暑くなりそうだなあんた夏だってのにそんなに着込んで暑くねえのかよあなんだいそりゃ3日前の新聞じゃねえか今度はフェルデンで中年夫妻がやられたってな犯人は医者だって話じゃねえかそういえばあんたもフェルデンへ行くって言ってたな知り合いでもいるのかいあ,あ会えるかどうかわからないが行かなくちゃならないんだ This man is like, I'm not taking no chances, bro. I'm not taking no chances. Anyways, see you guys for the review. Stay tuned for the review, I should say. All right, so that was episode seven and eight of Monster Man. Yo, whoo, it's getting juicy. <laughs> I'll just say that it's getting juicy. Um, 
you know when it comes on to certain things portrayed in anime so you know what i'm saying sometimes you can kind of disassociate between reality and what you're watching because it's you know it's it's depicts so many um things that are in real life you know what i'm saying like it just it just cuts to the chase and without trying to hide the truth from you as the consumer of the show you know what i'm saying so i really do um appreciate when writers go to the point where hey man this is some real shit pay attention <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i like that the writing in this is absolutely incredible i enjoy it very much so i like it i like it you know what i'm saying so when it comes on to um what went on with the girl the girl remembered you know Anne. she anna i mean anna right anna she remember what she did to Johan, you know what I'm saying? She's the one that put a bullet in his brain. You know what I'm saying? The doctor saved her, and here we go again. This dude remembered everything, and he's just out here killing again. You know what I'm saying? And she's wondering, why did you save him? You know what I'm saying? But it's not the doctor's fault. It was alive. Nobody knew. How the hell did it, was anyone going to be like yo this 11 year old boy is a serial killer like <laughs> nobody was going to look at him and think that coming into the hospital with a building brain regardless you're a doctor um doctors have to remain objective in everything in the lives that they save they they took an oath to save lives so they have to do that they can't be hypocritical they can't say um Oh, I'm not gonna operate on this guy because he's a he's a Nazi. I I'm not gonna operate on this guy. Be they can't do that. If they do that, they could get, you know, they could lose their license for malpractice and stuff like that. So they can't they can't do that, right? So they have to treat every life as equal, no matter what their background is, no matter what they're into, no matter if they just if if they were just in a shootout with the police and they and you know what i'm saying they killed a couple cops and they came in the hospital they have to treat them they have to save their life if they were brought to the hospital it's just how it is so they can't be biased when it comes on to life so that is not on it's not on tenma you know what i'm saying for saving johan it's not on him you know i'm not blaming him for that he did what he needed to do you saw how much i praised him in that first reaction i did episode one and two you saw how much i praised them for actually stepping out of the politics of the hospital to do what is right you get what i'm saying but then again you can also have the argument on the other side to be like if he had went and operated on the governor you know what i'm saying johan would have died lots of people that he killed since he saved them would have still been alive so you can make that argument too but at the end of the day that's what's brilliant about this story right that is what is brilliant about this story no doubt about it it's just that it challenges you to think beyond just from an objective point of view but also sliding in some subjective things in there that you just be like would you have made that decision would you have done that you know what i'm saying and that's what i'm enjoying about this the most is is just like it really tickles your mind to be like should he have really saved this kid you know what i'm saying um and in my opinion objectively speaking yes he should have did i know nobody knows the future i didn't know that you know i wouldn't if i was in his shoes i wouldn't have known that he's a serial killer i wouldn't have known that he killed the the the, the um the couple right i wouldn't have known that i saw life in need of my help and i would have just helped you know what i'm saying like see the the thing about it is this like if you don't have all the facts if you have if he had had the facts would he have saved the kid probably not you get what i'm saying so that's the thing and that's why doctors have to remain in that anonymous column that they exist in that objective column that they exist in they have to remain in that because if they don't they can be biased and as i've said before plenty of times on this channel where i talked about how much i disagree with capital punishment because you know and i know that a lot of people they're for capital you know they're pro capital punishment i don't like capital punishment because i believe that nobody nobody has the right to take a life no matter how that life is taken other than if it's self-defense and you're defending yourself 
like if you're defending yourself and you have to kill someone you get what i'm saying for if they're trying to kill you you happen to kill them fine but when you go out you know what i'm saying just like our capital punishment and all this other stuff be like oh they took kill 20 people you know they deserve to be in to to be in the electric chair or lethal injection whatever i'm not in agreement with any of that we didn't create life we shouldn't be taking it and that's just how it is and you might look at it and be like oh that's so simple mindedly and whatever the situation is but at the end of the day that's my that's just my belief it's not how society is but that's my belief you get what i'm saying um you know and trust me they are people that have murdered people in my family you know what i'm saying and i never wished them on death row or for somebody to kill them or whatever because at the end of the day rot in prison bro rot in prison i hope you never see daylight again but if they're gonna be like oh they should put him on death row or whatever this is i'm not for that i'm never gonna advocate for that so that's just me my opinion so when you remain in that column of objectivity and you know treat every life equally and that's what he fought for in those first two episodes and you saw how he maneuvered and you know what i'm saying how much he lost because of that because you don't play the politics of what people want to put on you you know what i'm saying and he said it he said you know you remind me of what it what why i really became a doctor in the first place not chasing after the clout or chasing after the the money and all this other stuff i really want to save lives you know what i'm saying there's a couple of medical dramas on tv um especially um new amsterdam is one of them that i really like um you know hopefully this pandemic when this pandemic is over um you know that show comes back because it's one of my favorite shows that i was watching before the pandemic you know i really was enjoying new amsterdam so um so yeah man i'm glad that he made that decision and you see how these things are it's like a cycle going around it's like did this decision made all of this stuff happen this one decision that he made to save this kid's life is resulting in all of this stuff nine years later who knows the countless of people that he's killed for those nine years we don't know because this is just being resurfaced by a typewriter guy you know detective guy now they're looking for him now he has to flee so he definitely can't go back to his job because they're looking for him he fleed he if he's you know what i'm saying he's a fugitive at this point now because the police are look police are coming to arrest you you just happen to disappear you you dipping you're a fugitive now <laughs> you know what i'm saying so um you know that was the title of the episode too the fugitive so bruh <laughs> you know what i mean like i really mess with with tenma i want to see what he's planning to do if he's going to you know what i'm saying now he got a gun he's out here you know what i'm saying he's like if i see Johan again i'm taking him out taking him out <laughs> i said he out here he's ready for the smoke but in any ways guys thank you guys so much that's all i have to say on that thank you guys so much i appreciate you guys i will catch you guys for the next one leave a like on the video leave a comment it's your boy terabyte i'm out peace